2021 Porsche 718 Cayman GTS 4.0 Review, The Ideal Porsche But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Porsche's current roster is impressively strong. The 911 remains an icon, and the Motor1.com star award-winning Taycan Cross Turismo is well on its way to becoming one, as it takes the German luxury brand into the EV age. But neither of those excellent products quite so perfectly encapsulates everything that makes Porsche one of the world's premier sports car manufacturers like the 718 Cayman GTS 4.0. In fact, the only things holding the Cayman GTS score back in our rating system are its aging technology and lackluster active safety suite, things we judge every vehicle on regardless of purpose. But forget those shortcomings, because this is a sublime driving instrument and one of the most compelling, involving, and entertaining cars on sale today. The subdued aesthetic touches on this Cayman are straight from Porsche's GTS playbook. The low-key tweaks include black 20-inch wheels, GTS decals on the doors, black headlight housings, clear taillights, and a sport design body kit that replaces the front and rear fascias with more aggressive units. The GTS adds a standard GT Sport steering wheel wrapped in Alcantara. The Racetex microfiber upholstery is a more sustainable alternative that looks and feels good, it's standard on the base two-way sport seats. Our tester adds the GTS interior pack, scattering bits of black leather and red contrast stitching throughout the interior, while also swapping in a Carmen red tachometer. Most of this stuff is available on a regular 718 Cayman. That's the trick to Porsche's treat, it rolls all these items into the GTS base price rather than forcing consumers to order them individually. But the automaker sprinkles in smaller details exclusive to the GTS that serve as subtle reminders about the car's specialness. Things like the 0.4-inch ride height reduction, the single slat in the black side intakes, and twin center exit-ish exhaust pipes present a muscular look, and the standard GTS-specific wheels are slightly different from the four-cylinder 718's optional Carrera S wheels. And that GTS interior pack adds some pizzazz to the cabin. There's just enough to remind the driver they're in something other than a run-of-the-mill 718 Cayman. Porsche sells four different seat options on every GTS 4.0, from a no-cost two-way chair with manual four-aft adjustment to a $5,900 racing bucket made of carbon-reinforced plastic and wearing an exposed carbon weave. The latter is tantalizing, but our tester carried the Goldilocks option. The 18-way adjustable sport seats carry a $3,030 price tag but match a memory function with a perfect balance of support and comfort. The side bolsters are firm but forgiving enough, so you won't bruise your kidneys while sliding in or out of the cabin even if you're a larger fellow. They hold you in one lucky passenger and place perfectly in aggressive cornering, while the range of adjustment is excellent. And like every Cayman, this is a roomy interior. Your author is 6 foot 2 and a pudgy 220 pounds, but it's easy to imagine larger or wider folks feeling at home. Speaking of Cayman standards, cargo space is plentiful for a mid-engine sports car, with a rear liftgate granting access to 4.4 cubic feet of space behind the engine. The frunk has 5.3 cubes and it swallowed a large ish away carry-on suitcase with enough space left for a backpack. The Cayman GTS 4.0 packs standard adaptive dampers and skinny 35 series tires at all four corners, but despite the car's mission as a high-performing corner carver, the ride is civilized and poised. The Cayman will not rattle you to bits or rearrange your spine on normal roads, and even Detroit's decimated surfaces proved little match for this suspension's balanced ride-slash-handling approach. You could drive this car daily without requiring chiropractic care. It should go without saying, but the Cayman's engine note is delicious and smooth. The 4.0-liter flat 6 sings through a standard 2-setting sport exhaust, in the quieter default mode, the note is unobtrusive around town or at highway speeds. Even the louder exhaust mode, which was our go-to for obvious reasons, produces a tolerable volume. The Cayman has a solid handle on wind noise at and above highway speeds, although the sticky Pirelli 0 and 1 tires, 235-35 front and 265-35 rear, produce a fair amount of roar. They also pick up small pebbles and road detritus, which then bounces around the wheel wells at low speeds. The Porsche 718 line debuted in 2016 and it feels like not much has changed with its aging tech suite in the intervening years. The standard 7.0-inch touchscreen is small and slow to respond to inputs, and it lacks the graphical fidelity we expect in 2021. 
Technophiles will be far happier in the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, the outgoing Audi TT RS, or the BMW-backed Toyota Supra. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.